Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Eyewitness News at 9, streaming live on CBS News Philadelphia. I'm Natasha Brown. And I'm Janelle Perel. Good to have you with us this morning. Thank you for joining us. And developing right now, Philadelphia police are searching for a rapist who they say struck right in the heart of Center City. Well, this happened overnight in Rittenhouse Square, and Eyewitness News reporter Ross DiMatteo has been following the very latest from the scene out there this morning. Good morning to you, Ross. Good morning. It is normally one of the busiest spots in the city, and neighbors tell me that it's hard to fathom a rape in Rittenhouse Square, especially when police say that there was a security guard in the park when that crime was committed. Scared. One of Philadelphia's most popular parks became the scene of a sexual assault overnight when police say a woman was raped in Rittenhouse Square shortly before 2 in the morning. It's really scary. I mean, this is a really safe very wealthy neighborhood, so you just don't think that something like this would happen right outside your door. Rachel Goodman has lived in Rittenhouse for the past seven years and says the police presence is nearly non existent lately. There's no cops ever in this park. Like day, night, weekend, there's there's no there's there's no security. They have the little hut in the middle, there's no one ever in there. They need to have cops. Officers tell Eyewitness News at least one security guard was in the square during the sexual assault, but they weren't patrolling the park, instead keeping watch over the tents lining the perimeter of the park ahead of the annual fine art show this weekend. Goodman says she won't walk her dog late at night here anymore, and she worries about what will happen to her neighborhood if the crime rate continues to rise. I think the crime rate in Philly right now is astronomically high. So I think people think that this area is like the nice place to go, you know, you sit outside for dinner, you do the fine art show, and they don't even feel safe here now. Now, so far, no arrests have been made yet. Philadelphia police couldn't provide us with a detailed description of a suspect, only saying it was a man and that he walked down 18th Street after committing the crime. We're live in Rittenhouse Square. Ross DiMatteo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Ross, thank you very much for that update.